All right, so I got this DM the other day, right? It says, hey, I've been studying tech for a few months now, like four to five months, and I'm just not sure if I'm you know, ready to start applying for jobs. And honestly, this is like one of the most common questions that I get all the time. And one of the dumbest lies people keep telling themselves, you're never ever gonna feel ready, right? Because readiness doesn't come first. Action comes first. Confidence comes later. You are always gonna be facing the imposter syndrome, especially in the early days, and you cannot avoid it. There's only one way you can avoid an imposter syndrome, and, and that's by stacking undeniable proof that you have what it takes to perform at your job. So take action first and get yourself results, real undeniable proof, and you will get there. So if I had to start over today, from scratch just exactly how I get hired as fast as humanly possible. So the first thing I do is to learn the tech stack that's easiest to hire for. That's not always the coolest tech. It depends on the country you're in or your existing skill sets or the kind of industries you're trying to get in, right? It's not the sexiest framework or the coolest tech always. It's the stuff that really gets you in the door. And that means usually you need to have some foundations of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and maybe a little backend with Node and understanding cloud and some deployment so you can showcase your project, how can you deploy your code to the internet. And that's it. You don't need some crazy blockchain technology, you don't need to know Rust, you don't need to know you know some specific AI tools, right? You need to be useful, you need to be adding value on the fundamentals of what it takes to build software. And you wanna build compilers, that's great, right? But make sure to do that after you're paid, after you can put foot on the table, right? Once you're paid and you can put foot on the table and you're comfortable, that's where you start learning the non-essential stuff, the extra stuff, your interest, whatever it may be, the cool stuff, go ahead and do it once you can put foot on the table. Right now, you have only one focus, which is to learn how to hunt. You you gotta learn how to hunt to put foot on the table, not go and learn how to paint, for example, okay? And next will be to build two to three real world projects from scratch, no tutorials, just you and your blank VS Code screen. Look, I've, I've seen too many people binge 80 hours of YouTube videos and I myself, I did it too, right? Uh, five years ago when I was learning how to code. And honestly, after six months of like blindly coding and, and just following along coding tutorials, I still had no idea how to start something on my own. So here's the rule. If you didn't come up with it and, and build it yourself, it does not count. It has to be you, your two hands, and empty VS Code screen, right? It could be a blog, it could be a budgeting app, it could be some stupid four-player tic-tac-toe app. What matters here is you built it, it works, and it's deployed live on the internet somewhere. Because once you've done that a few times, you're gonna unlock something way more powerful than code. You're gonna start believing in your own ability to solve and figure things out. Look, everything in software is solvable, right? You, you can figure things out. Most developers have always, as a developer, you need to have the mindset of, you know, it's okay, I'm gonna figure it out. That's the mindset you have. Instead of, oh no, I'm stuck and uh, I can't solve it and, and you move. No, as a developer, you need to have, uh, the best engineers that I've met never said no to problems. They may say no to specific timelines, but they know eventually they can get it done, right? It's just a matter of time, right? The next thing I wanna talk about will be very important, so listen carefully, right? This is where people mess up, I think, most of the time, which is to start applying to jobs before you think you're ready. Why? Because interviewing is actually a skill. Yeah, you could be really good at coding, but if you, you don't have the soft skills or the people skills or understanding what it, takes, what it takes to interview at a job, you're not gonna be able to go far, right? You don't practice by just watching videos. You don't. You, you practice by doing it, right? So get the reps in. I used to have a student that I was mentoring and he got a job after one month of working together with me um, in my bootcamp, even before he graduated bootcamp because he was really desperate and he needed a job. And I was like, you know what, screw it. Let's go for it. I'm gonna assist you with it. And true enough, he, he put the reps in, how to apply, how to set in your CV, how do you network with the hiring managers and how do you stand out, right? These kind of things are very important. And if you spend all your time just laying on the code, you don't hone your skills in interviewing, okay? So go out there to apply to jobs you don't care about, mess it up, right? Stumble through your answers, get lost a little bit, get rejected, good, that's the point, right? If, if anything, I won't even challenge you to get one rejection a day because that's how you understand, okay, you're, rejected this, you're, you're being rejected this time, how can I do better for the next one? Because every field interview actually gives you two things. Number one, it gives you feedbacks, and number two, it gives you the reps that you need to take. And eventually, you're gonna get good at it, right? Every failure gets you closer to your success. Just have that mindset and you're gonna get there. And when the job you do care about shows up, you're sharp and you're ready and you're warmed up and you can go in there and close that job. Okay, so next thing would be to understand that every job post is a cheat sheet and treat it like that. Don't get scared when you see 20 bullet points and 90% of the time, that's a freaking wish list. It's not a requirement. Instead, pick a few things that you don't know from the list. Learn just enough to talk about it intelligently. You don't have to master every tool. You just have to prove you can learn fast, you can hold a conversation about it, not be completely lost when people start asking you about what's big O notation or time and space complexity. Be able to explain and show that you know what's going on, you know what's up, right? That alone. And it's gonna put you in the top 20%. The next step, I wanna talk back to what I was talking about just now about putting foot on the table, right? You wanna 
quickly get hired first and specialize later. Now, maybe you want to work on really cool stuff, you know, AI, compilers, VR, game technology, whatever it is. Awesome. That's great. But here's the truth, because most of those roles do not hire juniors. So don't wait. Go out there and get that job that you can get first. Use the money to buy time. Once you can put food on the table, you had, you're going to put yourself in a much healthier emotional state, a much clearer mind where you have the time to slowly learn other things and improve your craft and and you know overcome your imposter syndrome right that's how you pivot and that's how you're gonna win now next thing is that you don't know what you actually like and this is so true in the early days right no one tells you this but you probably don't know if you like front end or back end or, or you know you don't you, you think you love front end until you touch back end and you're like oh shit i love it you think you hate devops until you're actually good at it right you probably don't even know what you enjoy now you don't know because you haven't you just, just haven't done enough you don't have the reps in yet so take the job do the work stay open and i I promise you, you're gonna surprise yourself. And what's there to lose, right? You get like you spend six months in a job that you don't like, then you can get, get another job, right? As long as you're learning and you're growing, and that, that's all really that matters. So here's the whole game: learn the text that gets you paid, build real, real stuff from scratch, apply before you feel ready, treat interviews like practice, use job posts as training maps, and specialize after you get hired, and then staying open to what you might love. That's it. No secrets, no hacks. Just a clear roadmap that I would take if I were to start from scratch today. So if you like this, you know, hit the like button or the subscribe button, or whatever. I don't even care if you do it. Now or later but if you don't take action after this video that's on you okay so close this tab go out there and build something all right let's go